new, new, new. Okay, you wanna do this? Yes. All right, what's this? It's a nice, a nice and easy new. So this is a little, a little clip. I mean, it's a little, uh, um, it's a silver pin with a foam backing. And uh, we got these and it's a, just a small, simple thing that you can use and you can stick it on the back of your circuit playground or on your flora. I can just show it on the overhead. It's like, it's very simple, very effective. So let me zoom in. So you got like, you know, your flora and you got your, your little pin backing and you stick it on the back. And then now you, you have a little wearable uh, floor and it's a little protector and then you can attach it to your wearable very easily. Um, especially, especially if you have like a circuit playground, something that's uh, self-enclosed that you don't want to uh, or have to solder to. This is just a lovely way to make your feather or your circuit playground or your flora or whatever you have into a wearable. Okay. Super simple. All right. Uh, next up. Squishy buttons. These are our squishy elastomery buttons, and um, we got them actually because they are a uh, favorite of Noah and Pedro for use with the Pie Girl project. They're a teeny bit bigger than six millimeter um, tactile switches, but they will they will basically fit with a little bit of bending into a six millimeter um, device. And just what's, what's nice about them is they're just they're just really soft and squishy. They don't have a clicky feel. It's a soft feel, and so if you're making um, like the Pie Girls and you want to have like an, a, a squishy elastomer um, feeling to the buttons, not a clicky feel, uh, you just swap these in and they work great and they have a little nub but yeah this is just a, a, a squish squish button okay and next up keeping it squish keeping it squish all right and next up uh, we got these this is from Pi Maroni and this is the blinked and it's just a, a eight pixel strip of uh, APA 102s that they're uh, very easy to use with Raspberry Pi and they are you know basically neopixels but use two pins and you can just plug it onto your um, Raspberry Pi. It's kind of designed for the zero, but you can really use it with anything uh, to make a little display, maybe Prince of the Vision type stuff, uh, whatever. A little mm -hmm. add-on. It's very cute. You just plug it in, ready to go. Okay. Live demo? Yeah, we have a live, demo. a live demo. It's incredibly bright, as you can see, and then you see it just plugs right in. It comes assembled, so it's very easy to use. I actually like it. It's very, like, it's very simple. You just, that's it. That's, you, know, you just plug it in, and you just want a couple LEDs, and then you can still, you know, have other stuff connected to it with the stacking headers or something, if you'd like. Yeah. I think I say this every time we have anything that lights up. I'll say it again. Um, if you're shopping on an electronic site, they should show a picture of the thing lit up. I like that we do it. Like, is, we even have a video. I like that we have videos. I think it's important. And I kind of feel like if you're not doing that, it's not really good really for good? the customer. Yeah, you want to see what it's like because yeah. it, it like what the what like displays especially. You want to really see what you're and, getting. And I'll say this: if you don't do that, it means that you don't maybe even have the code to run it or something, and they're gonna yeah, get absolutely. hosed anyways. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. What do you want to show next? Okay. The star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada. Yes. Is uh. Ethernet feather. Ethernet feathering. This was a. It's not out yet from a while ago. Ether and, feather. Uh, we finally. It's this week. This is its week. It is an Ethernet Featherwing. It has a WizNet 5500 chip. You know, it's funny, like we haven't had any Ethernet stuff we've made in-house for quite a while, but because we have this selective solder machine, it comes with the jack yeah. plugged in because otherwise it's, you know, how are you gonna test that it works? So it comes with the Ethernet jack, you plug in Ethernet, it works with all feathers. So yeah, you can plug it on an ESP8266 or a Wicked, or you can plug it onto the LoRa um, feathers and, and make an, a LoRa Ethernet gateway. Um, what have you. It uses the three SPI pins plus one configurable uh, chip select pin. And um, you want to show this on the overhead, maybe. I can show it off. So this is, uh, you know, you, you just put headers on it and whatever headers you want. So this is the, the feather. And then um, you can configure the chip select line. But, you know, and it uses quite a bit of power, but all of the um, feathers that we sell have a good enough power supply. It's a little bit longer because, of course, the Ethernet jack is, is quite big and it sticks out and, and we, you know, to, to make it fit. But it, it works really well. And what's great is the Ethernet 2 library because it's super cross-platform compatible. Like, this is a 32U4. And uh, let's try this. Oh, hold on. It's, it's in booting mode. But uh, it's got nice link and activity LEDs. So it's kind of nice. You can tell when you've got link. 
I'm just wait, yeah. waiting for you the got bootloader. Link. Yeah, I just want to wait for the bootloader to time out. Okay, so it's connecting to the Ethernet. And two seconds later, it will say, oh, come on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's it up? Was, it was totally working. Actually, I unplugged it to make it work. I'm going to try resetting it again. Reset it. I'll reseat this Ethernet as well. But um, so it uses the Wiznet uh, Wiz5500. So it has a built-in TCP IP stack, which is kind of handy. So you don't have to do a lot of the TCP IP stuff like in the chip itself. Um, it uses the client interface. So you can like almost any example code that already exists for Ethernet will work with this. Of course, like now it, it was connected and now it's not. All right. I don't know what's going on. Sorry, but I don't know. Maybe I unplugged the Ethernet cable. But um, at my desk, it was working great. And uh, I don't know what that no, I keep bouncing. I keep oh. bumping it. Um, you know, it basically does DHCP. It gets an IP address, and then you know you can use it with MQTT or REST yeah, or should, website. I'll double check. I'm, maybe your cable's not plugged I in. It might not be plugged Sorry. in, or it might not. The router might not be plugged in. Yeah. Um, but then Oops. Ethernet. Okay. It was working one minute ago. Yeah. Well, it's happens. All right. Live demo. And with that.